It's that time of the week again when we review all of the ways in which the media covered themselves in glory. Joining us now to do exactly that is the one and only Katie Helper. She is host of the Katie Helper Show and co-host of the Useful Idiots podcast. Great to see you, Katie. Good to see you, Katie. You too. You too. All right, Katie, we have a fun one this week, which is uh, James Clyburn saying that George W. Bush thanked him for saving the country in South Carolina. Let's take a listen to what he said. Several people said to me today, including George W. Bush, George Bush said to me today, he said, you know, you the savior, because if you had not nominated Joe Biden, we would not be having this transfer of power today. And he said to me, Joe Biden was the only one who could have defeated uh, the incumbent president. There we go, Katie. George W. So Bush seal of approval. Well, did he say um, if, if that Bush said if you hadn't nominated... Did he actually yeah, say right. you? Do you know? Okay. So I saw this a couple of times and I didn't even realize that part. I think I'd blocked it out. But so what's remarkable, remarkable about this, I would say, is how out of touch and entitled um, Clyburn is. You know, he doesn't even know how to say the quiet, how to not say the quiet parts aloud. Uh, again, we saw this with Bill Clinton thanking him for doing this. But uh, first of all, Bush has a higher body count than Trump. It's just good to remind people of that. Uh it's problematic, to say the least, to be citing him as some kind of morally acceptable person um, when he killed, you know, countless people. We still don't know how many in Iraq um, and, of course, U.S. Uh, service people. And the fact that Clyburn would cite him and the fact that Clyburn would say out loud that, that George Bush thanked him for nominating Biden again, just shows how these people don't even know that they're supposed to pretend to not have totally put their uh, thumbs on the scale. And also how to not alienate Bernie Sanders supporters. I mean, I guess it's too late for that. And what makes this uh, a, a particularly fine pairing with this uh, appearance, with this statement is, of course, Clyburn saying that there was no Democrat more progressive than Jim Clyburn. He said that. He talked about himself in the third person. So yeah, you know that someone's progressive when they are uh, quoting George Bush as if that's something positive instead of something shameful. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that when even Biden's on Inauguration he, Day, like, like, you've won. You got your guy. You know, yeah. you did it. You, the, you did it. came together. Obama put out the phone calls. Clyburn came yeah. in when he had to at the last moment. You got your guy through. Even then, they still got to check shots at Bernie. Yeah, and there is zero yeah. evidence to support the idea right, that right. Biden did better in this race than Bernie would have when there was a pandemic and there was an obvious like economic need that could have been spoken to. Look, you never know what the counterfactual would have been, but like, of course, right. why even on this day? And I actually think it is very intentional because the they have to continue this narrative that you right. have to stick with who we tell you is electable. You can't possibly actually have these things that you want, like healthcare, like a living right. wage, like a, you know, $2,000 UBI. You can't possibly have those things you want because it will ultimately be electoral disaster. And even George W. Bush says so. Right, exactly. So it's a way to justify not pushing Biden too hard because the logic of this, of course, of this myth that actually was not supported by the data. Um, in fact, there was uh, famously a bunch of articles that said, uh, you know, you had to go way down in the, art in the article to see that the, the headline would talk about how, you know, Trump was uh, doing better than uh, Biden and Warren. And then if you went way down in the article, it would mention that the opposite is true for Bernie. But again, that's a really good point, Crystal, um, for people to keep uh, justifying Biden, and also to marginalize the progressive uh, members of Congress and the Senate, they have to keep repeating this myth that they, again, such entitlement that they don't even pretend to have evidence for. They don't even need to supply evidence for it. But this is a really great way for them to say, you know, centrist policies are the only thing that could ever defeat Trump. So we have to stick to them. 
Yeah, the part that really scares me is anytime George W. Bush thanking anyone for saving a country usually ends uh, incredibly badly. And so I'm like, he yeah. probably has the worst, uh, the worst judgment of any of the people that was up there on that stage. Yeah, and again, you know, everything because of Trump. I mean, Trump, look, I think that Trump's rhetoric was unprecedented, but in many ways, uh, people have totally whitewashed neocons uh, no offense, Sagar. I don't know if you neocon identify. No, I'm not, uh, I don't have any neocon okay. in tendencies. Don't okay. worry. Yeah. Um, you're not even neocon uh, curious. <laughs> no, I, I was in my youth and I reformed. Right. You were, you were, everyone dabbles experiments when they're younger, but, um, no, yeah, it is. It's just shocking and it's really disturbing. And, uh, again, the poor guy in his mitten sitting in the bleachers, the nosebleed seats, you know, Bernie Sanders, like what else do they want from him? And even progressives are being a little like, okay, I get it. Trump is gone. That's good. But there's no honeymoon, like no honeymoon at all. And we can already see with these, you know, Pete Buttigieg for, uh, for transportation, even though, you know, speaking of media coverage, it's extremely irresponsible that the media didn't even mention that Pete Buttigieg implemented something called smart streets. And uh, the result of that was the uh, running over, a fatal running over of an 11 year old black child. And the fact that no one even mentions that, you know, mm -hmm. like you could argue, I don't know what the evidence is. Maybe it wound up saving a lot more lives uh, in the, you know, in the long run or in the net. Uh, but the fact that they didn't even feel the need to inform people about that, that the media wouldn't even bring it up where it's so relevant. It's transportation, literally transportation. And this is someone whose policy killed a child. It just, I mean, I guess I should be ones who ever covered his record as mayor, which is the only record that he has. Yeah. So it seems highly right. relevant to like what he would do as president, but there was zero interest. I also have, remember Biden ran that ad. We actually played it again here. Oh yeah. It trashing great. Pete. For like yeah. how Those small streets. ball his accomplishments <laughs> yeah. were, I and know, now they're the just best going to elevate him on up the ladder because when it was the critical moment, he ultimately fell, he in, fell line, in line. Did yeah, what he needed to do right. To I like save the country from right. Bernie He's Sanders. Also savior. Um, yeah, and I, Katie, I like great to see um, you. Thank you so much, Katie. Oh, sure. We got to run, Katie. Bye. See you later. Bye. A lot more rising for you after this. <laughs>